this is just a quick video uh, on dip dye and saws. So I had a load of people ask how I did it. John Custom Saws on Instagram uh, and YouTube does a really in-depth video of this. Um, this is just gonna be a really, really quick one. He actually does it while he's doing the dip dyeing as well. Um, so you can see it um, sort of while he's doing it, which is really good. So the tools or the things you'll need, a pair of tongs, um, a brush and a scrubby brush, just something to clean the stuff down or just, just scrub them, uh, get all the excess off. A sieve, um, this is for the small parts, the badge, um, the, the, the triggers, the choke, anything like that. I just put in there and then put that in the in the dip bath. So then you haven't got to try and like use the tongs to fish it out. And then just a plastic container, as long as it's it's watertight. This is just so when you're done with the tongs, you can just put them in there and they're not dripping everywhere. Literally a casserole dish. But basically you just need something that you can put on the oven and heat. You also need a, two buckets. I actually use the sink um and then i use the washing up bowl you basically need somewhere that you can put loads of hot soapy water which i use the sink for and then you need uh somewhere you can fill with really cold water so after it's come out of the dip bath you put it in cold water um and that's what the bucket would be for or in my case the washing up bowl as i say what i what i put in there I'll put the disc the, the a photo in the description of where i got it from so in the dip bath itself it is uh, acetone, which is basically nail varnish remover. So I just bought a, a pot um, of nail varnish remover, which I got from like Boots, I think, or, or Superdrug, somewhere like that. You need two rip dyes, so a synthetic graphite, then the all purpose black. I have done it with just the black and it does work okay, but if you use both, um, you get more dye for one um, and it just kind of has that has this really cool, almost like shiny gunmetal sort of effect. Salt and vinegar. Um, and basically you just put enough in, in so like enough in here to to actually like submerge the parts you want to dye, then add all the ingredients in at once and then just boil it, just get it really, really hot. You basically want to fill, so say bucket number one is your hot one, bucket number two is your cold. So fill number one with hot soapy water and soap actually, that's what else you put in there. So I just used a uh, washing up liquid, put that in the actual dye bath. Um, so you have a soapy one with really hot water. So Put all your plastics in there, get it super hot, make sure they're really, really warm. Um, get, make sure they're obviously all clean, no bits and, of dirt and grime. And then put it straight in the dye bath. And then basically what you do is leave it in there for four minutes, um, around about four minutes anyway. If you leave it longer, it just won't soak up um, anymore. It will literally just soak up the, the amount it can and that's it. So if you leave it for half an hour, it doesn't matter. So four minutes in there, take it straight out. If you can sort of like just um, uh, drip it a little bit to get the excess off, then take it out, put it in the cold one. And that basically shocks the, the plastics and just kind of almost like shocks the color in and then put it back in the hot and basically just keep repeating that. And I think I did it four times, I think. Um, with the last saw I just died. Um, I think that's what I did on my 500 as well. And it just come out, came out really nice. And you'll see every time you do it, it just gets darker and darker. Obviously don't worry if you get the soap from the hot one in the dye bath because there is um, soap in the dye bath anyway. If you do it, I do it on the cooker with the sink, put a sheet down because it, it can get really messy. Um, wear gloves. If it gets on your hands, obviously it will dye your hands um, and it's really hot. Some old plastics uh, won't come out as nice. Obviously, if they're scratched and beaten up, they won't come out as nice. If you're gonna do it on a saw, I would recommend buying, just buy new plastics and just dye all of them. I did it on um, my new saw 
with the plastics it already had and it actually worked out really well but they were in really good nick for the age of saw but this die bath i actually did probably like three months ago and it's still the same die bath that i used um when was it two days ago so you can actually once you're finished let it cool down now i just literally left it in this casserole dish and i don't know if you'll see that so it was full this thing and obviously as i'm as i've been using it the plastic's been soaking it up you can keep it you can keep the you can pour it out put it in a container and just keep it um and and yeah just just keep reusing it basically but yeah that's how i did it um and then you know it it's quicker um it's less messy than spraying and it doesn't scratch off so all of these plastics were the ones that were on there i mean you can see like you can see the imperfections but it still took really well which was cool and then the side the badge but like i say you can't you can't it won't come off it's literally soaked into there so every time you dip it it soaks more you can actually see it if you if you put half in half of a plastic you can actually see it like a paper towel soaking up even where it's not in the dye bath you can see it soaking up the dye and it literally just soaks and absorbs the dye you can kind of see i don't know if you'll see on the camera see where the ham the, the brake thing is that's still there and see where the choke is you can still see that so it just gives it a really really nice finish you can do other colors um i tried a green but if you mix it with the all-purpose black then it kind of just goes black and then you get a hint of the other color see trying to dye orange pink or another color other than black might be um might be difficult but yeah hope that uh comes in handy uh, like i say john uh, custom saws on instagram and youtube has a really good uh video it's the one i watched and followed um but this is just more of a quick short video um but yeah i hope that helps